Hey guys, I'm Nasser here and I'm in Oakland getting ready to start our Art of Grief project. And with the help from Susan Opie, who is an ex-hospice nurse, this project and this collage is going to really help me understand how to process grief, the meaning behind grief through a creative way like art. And I think with an emotion like grief, how much impact it can have on our health and our well-being, using art to process and represent it, using a collage to put it all together into a way we can process it more healthily, I think it's going to be important for young people alike. So join me on this project and I hope you could really take something from this and maybe create your own collage. My name is Susan Oppie. I've been a registered nurse for almost 25 years. And um, I started realizing our society's disconnection with death early on in my career, working in hospitals and just needing to clear the beds to bring the bodies to the morgues and get it ready for the next patient. and. Uh, and at the time, I couldn't say that I was real aware of that was this was happening, but I knew I felt wrong. It felt wrong to me, and I knew that I was dealing with a lot of grief in my early days in my career, and and that's kind of the time when someone introduced the idea of figuring out a way to express all the grief I've been carrying throughout my life, not just with my career, but especially with my career, um, but figure out a way to express a, express all that emotion, that stress, that grief creatively. Um, and so that's what I did. I, I kind of experimented with different ways of expressing my creativity and I landed on both collage and making dioramas and, they, and well, the dioramas turned into memorial art which I realized was really cathartic for me. It really helped me just release a lot of that stuff that people carry. I was carrying and it was just wearing me down and that's kind of what we talk about when it's like you know, don't carry your anger. I mean, don't, you know, let, figure out a way to let it out because it's not helping you, you know. There'll be a lot of cutting out of pictures in magazines and placing them somehow on the uh, board, but I really don't know. Nasser and I haven't spoken about exactly what he's envisioning or how this will kind of unfold. I guess it's just a organic process in that way. Do you think that art can play a major role in grief and how we process it? Or do you think art is just one way that we can use grief to process our own emotions? I think art is a powerful tool to change history. I think art has changed history. And I think if it has that much power, it can change our, our emotional well-being and health. And, and, and that can be shared. I mean, when, when we're feeling good, when our emotions are uh, addressed and allowed to be expressed in, a, in you know, calm ways, um, that that's a ripple effect, I think. You know, what this represents to me is how we can show grief through art. You know, when you're feeling personal grief, it's things that represent losing someone close to you in your life. The feeling of an empty space or things that they liked in life or maybe a wilting flower or an empty chair. We can also see grief as things going on, going on around, like around us, whether that's, you know, grief in response to climate change, or injustice in our own communities, grief around the world because of injustice is happening all over the world. I think that grief is so multifaceted that it's gonna take a lot of different representations to show how it makes people feel. The Art of Grief project holds a special place in my heart, not just for the emotional depth I explored, but also for the meaningful journey I had in creating it. Exploring how personal and injustice grief can manifest itself in art goes a long way for healthy healing. Liam and I also sourced our materials from the East Bay Center for Corrective Reuse, a nonprofit dedicated to sustainability and community support. Choosing this source aligns with BBG's commitment to responsible resource use. And it's also noteworthy that this project marked my first ever attempt at creating a collage. And turning the experience into a beautiful tapestry of both personal and artistic growth, this collaboration between several amazing people not only fostered my creativity, but also reaffirmed BBGTV's support for making a positive impact in our community.